So the first step, let's say you've written something down in a specific color and stroke width and you want to change that without erasing it. Tap that A icon you see at the bottom, choose a color that you want to change it to and then you can adjust the stroke width as well. And then you just have to rub the pen on top of that text to change it. It's really that simple. And you don't have to change the entire color, you can just change one specific word with one specific color if you wanted to. Next, you can choose a background color of your choice. So if you go into menu and then into background colors, you'll be able to see specific preset colors that you can use. And depending upon what you prefer, you can have one of those set. You can also choose different page templates. So, you know, if you want like a ruled notebook sort of a look, you can go for that. If you want like squares or dotted lines, you can go for that as well. Next, let's say that you've written something and there is no space left for you to write something else. Select the lasso tool and now you can draw this lasso around text that you want to move. It'll make an intelligent selection and then you can just move it down. And now you've got space to make, you know, to write something else if you wanted to. And guys, before we move on, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, it'll mean so much to me if you could and hit that bell notification icon. It really helps me sustain the channel and grow it even further. And now let's move on. Samsung Notes can identify phone numbers and websites intelligently within your content. So let's say you took someone's phone number down pretty quick. You can just hover over it and then it'll give you the option to make a phone call. If you took down a website real quick, it'll give you the option to click on it and instantly go to that URL. So just something I thought a lot of people didn't know. It's there. If you want to take a quick note without opening Samsung Notes, just tap on the button on the pen and double tap on the screen anywhere and it will open up a small shortcut sort of a note that you can then take. And you can be on any app and you just have to double tap with the button pressed. You can move it around and you can resize it. And once you're done taking down the note, just hit like back and it'll save in Samsung Notes. Next, like any other Notes app, you can add reminders to each and every note. Tap on the menu and then say add to reminder. It's sort of hidden, so people kind of miss it. But once you do, it says reminder saved, but you can go onto details and you know, you can add like a time-based reminder or a location-based reminder. You can choose to get a notification if you want and you can add more information, like you can add more to-do tasks to it. You can attach an image if required and you can color code. So it shows like that in your reminders app. Now, even if you don't have the S Pen, you can use Samsung Notes to take notes the regular way. You get all formatting styles. You get, you know, the ability to choose a font color, a font background color. You can add to-dos, so you'll get checkboxes that you can just, you know, keep adding to, which is great. You can also increase or decrease the font size. So depending upon how you prefer, you can have that going as well. And then there are other formatting options available as well, but more importantly, you do get numbered lists as well as bullet lists, which I think is again, really great. Anyway, moving on. There's a shape tool at the bottom right corner that allows you to draw shapes pretty accurately. So all you have to do is somewhat draw the shape and then it intelligently converts that into a normal shape. Now, let's say that you want to write something inside a really small area and you don't want to lose legibility. Right, so inside that circle, or let's take the smallest circle. Then all you have to do is zoom all the way in and change the brush size to something smaller because you know, it'll be easier for you to write inside clearly. And then you can just write in whatever you have to and then zoom back out. And then if you really see it, uh, it's super clear. I mean, just look at that. And then you can go all the way, zoom out and it, it's really clean. So you can keep doing that. Uh, so depending upon the use case, it doesn't have to be a shape. You know, you might want to write somewhere else that's zoomed in. You can do that. Now, Samsung Notes can convert all your written text into regular digital text that you can then copy. It's called convert to text option, which is available at the toolbar at the bottom. And then you can select the area that you want to convert to regular text. And there you go. So you can now copy it and then paste it elsewhere or you can just tap on convert and it will convert the existing you know, writing to regular text. Now, if you're someone who likes to use different color pens to write your notes, well, you're in luck. With Samsung Notes, you can actually store your favorite colors with their respective brush sizes and just change them with the flick of the S Pen. Just press the button and flick in the air and your pen changes. Now, all you have to do is choose a color 
and then you choose this brush size and then you tap on the star icon on the top right corner. It gets added as your favorite brush and then you can just switch by pressing the button on the S Pen and flicking it in the air. And lastly, one of the great ways to take a note real quick is just to pull out your S Pen while your phone is locked. Only available on Galaxy Note phones, of course. But yeah, you can take your note down real quick and you get options to choose from three or four colors as well, which is really good. And it stores the note in that specific color as well. Once you're done, just hit save and it gets stored on your Samsung Notes app. There you go. And that's it guys. I think those are some of the features that are pretty less known about Samsung Notes. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video. Let me know if you want me to do more such videos about Samsung Notes in general. I'll be happy to do that. Anyway, thanks for watching this and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one.